Let's talk spoilers about Veronica. There were really blatant clues sometimes. You see it and afterwards, not when you're watching it because of course because of the misdirects you think that you got something but it turns out to be something else. But when you think about it after the fact, after the reveal at the end and, and the twist at the end, there were some really blatant clues. Some of them, I had, I'm gonna look down at my notes and just make this faster. Some of them were when Veronica says, we all hide things even from ourselves blatant clue. When the psychiatrist mentions dissociative amnesia, clue. When the psychiatrist quoted Sigmund Freud saying, behind every hysterical neurosis there is a sexual desire, clue. And then also the story that the professor told about her grandmother when the grandmother's, I think she said her son passed away and then she got dressed up in his clothes and pretended to be him. Really blatant clue. While I was watching this at one point Veronica was causing the psychiatrist to become really unhinged and it made me think, well, is Veronica even there at all? Is this all in the psychiatrist's head? Then I was thinking, is Veronica the psychiatrist? I really, that was the path I was going on. But this movie being a love letter to Alfred Hitchcock and specifically Psycho, this is like, oh my God, if, if Psycho had a sister story, this would be the sister story to Psycho. Veronica's character is definitely a twist on Norman Bates. I also appreciate that there was an evil mother character because that's kind of rarely seen. A lot of times they have the father be the evil character and especially having um, the mother being a <laughs> that really stands out. To me, I, I mean, it's not so far-fetched to me because I live in Florida and if you know anything about I appreciate that the mother character was evil and abusive and in this abuse. So a lot of times they show the paternal or the father character being abusive towards uh, a child, but it actually happened. And it stands out to me because I live in Florida. We seem to have an epidemic of female teacher students. And that's, I'm calling it what it is. They always on, are on the news saying, teacher has an affair with, no, she did not have an affair with her student. She did her student. She assaulted her student. That's what we're going to call it. These women are, are well, technically a lot of them are hebophiles, which are people that are into teenagers rather than prepubescent children. Those would be pedophiles. Also a sickness, but call it, call it, what is the Yala says? Let's call the thing a thing. I mean, seriously, if you're a grown woman and you're looking at a 13 year old boy, like that's something, you're gross. There's something wrong with you. When I was 13, I didn't even like 13 year old boys. What is wrong with you? Gross. Anyway, it was cool how this movie explored that theme. One more thing that reminded me of Psycho, or possibly with Psycho 2, the reveal of the body in the ice chest under the ice. Was that Psycho, or was that in Psycho or Psycho 2 where somebody was in an ice chest underneath the ice? That was definitely giving me a Psycho vibe. But that's all I wanted to say about a few spoilers with Veronica. It was really cool how the story unfolded and how I'll just say it because this is a spoiler review. It says spoiler review in the title. If you're still watching this and you don't want to be spoiled, I'm sorry about your reading comprehension skills. But turns out the psychiatrist never existed. It was all just Veronica. And she killed her mother and put her in an ice chest. This is classic. Classic. I, I, I think I might even like this Veronica better than the other Veronica. I think both, I like them both, but I think this one edged that one out just, just by a pinch. Did you see Veronica? What did you think of it? Let me know in the comments. Did I miss some things that, well, this is probably one of those movies that when you watch it again, you're going to pick up a whole lot of other things, but let me know in the comments if you picked up on something that I missed. But like I always say, just because I love something doesn't mean you won't hate it. And just because I hate something doesn't mean you won't love it. Did you love or like or hate or how did you feel about Veronica? Let me know in the comments.